Today I'm gonna do a review on my sorry uh the tripod just was broken, sorry about that. So as I was saying before that broke uh as I was saying, I'm going to do a review on my Instax 29 camera that I bought, that my mom bought me for my birthday about a year ago. About, I mean, 11 months ago, so, yeah, I got this for my birthday about 11 months ago. So, it's basically a film camera. So, I'm going to give you a quick tour. Uh, it's made of hard plastic, first of all. Hard plastic, so... That's the camera lens. This is to select what mode you want it in. I'll get to that. Actually, let me zoom in so you can see better because I can't get that close to the tripod since it's gonna break the tripod. And so yeah, uh, film door here. That's where the film comes out. <laughs> Lanyard slot, uh, battery compartment, Uh, I gotta zoom out. Shutter button, shutter release, and on, off, and on button. And to turn it off, you press this down when, when it sticks out. And then, light sensor, flashlight, and the viewfinder. Which you can't really see, so I gotta zoom in really close. Come on. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get it. Come on. Sorry guys, you can't really get it. So, that's as best as you're gonna get. That's basically what you look through to frame your shot. And this little bubble, if it has yellow in it, there's film. So, I, you, I can't really see that, so I have to look in person. Now let's actually get to the review and then there's some other stuff that came with mine. So to turn it on, you press this. A red light will appear in the viewfinder, which means the flash is charging. Okay. So now, I'm going to show you how to take a picture. So, I'm not going to take a picture here. But, how you take a picture is you is you press this shutter button. I'm going to go to another angle so you can, like, see better. Sorry, I'm just a little sick. Okay, sorry about that. My tripod broke. I need, <coughs> I need a new tripod. So... Let's say I want to take a picture. Come on, come on, come on. And film is really expensive, so try to use your phone when you can. Like, I mean, yeah, this camera is more fun, the Instax one, but I prefer the phone because it, it, it's free to take a picture with a phone. And hold on, why is it so dark? Hold on, let me pause and restart up by turning up the ISO so now huh zoomed in okay hints and so now let's see let's see what distance is a good distance to show you guys uh no nah, I don't think that's a really good angle huh what kind of angle should I do I don't want to get too close uh, let's see now. Okay, I'm gonna maybe try putting it here next to the TV box on this table. Now that's even worse. Now I, I'm gonna do the angle one because, like, the other angle is like really bad. So. Let's see if I can get you guys in frame. That's crooked. Oh my god. Okay. Ugh. Let's see if you can see.
see from this angle. Wait, hold on. Hold on, okay, so. Now, and by the way, before I take the picture, I forgot to cover one thing. This mode select thing, I'll get over that when I'm done with the demo picture. So that red light, that's basically the light sensitivity, so. Huh, so let's see. So it's saying I need the indoor icon, so house, okay. Okay, let's so take a picture of you guys and the house icon, okay? So gonna get you guys in the frame. Um, and that, that's basically how it works. The reason no film came out is because I have <coughs> none in there. So, that's why that yellow bubble is there, like, just in case. Like, so, yeah, that's basically how I want you to take a picture. Now, I am going to teach you how to load the film. So, I'm going to get some film. I store film in the door, in my bedroom drawer thingy. The chest there. So let me turn off the camera. So you want to make sure the camera's off before loading the film. So now let me get the tripod in frame with it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> oh my god, no, uh, that's very limp. Wow, why is my tripod so, so weak? <sighs> it's so ugly. The tripod is showing in the frame. No, come on. Oh, great. How do I fix it? I need a new tripod. Well, I guess that's the best we're going to get. So, film looks like this. So, to load the film, you want to make sure the camera's off. Flip it on the back. Wait, yep, make sure it's off. And then, you want to press up on the latch. I forgot how to do this since I haven't used it in a while. Uh, you press down or? I forgot how to do this, so bear with me. There we go. Comes off and then it hinges at the bottom so it won't come off completely. I'm just gonna stand it up like that so there's no film in there right now. So, put that off to the side for now. And it's fine to keep that door open when there's no film. And you want to be very gentle with this stuff. Once this metal foil thing comes off, it's really delicate. Like, you do not want to waste film. Like, that's kind of the fun of the the camera you shouldn't be afraid to waste film it's like this camera like you shouldn't be afraid to waste film like ah okay so you want to rip it and then rip the packaging be, be very careful like so careful and do not do not like get your fingers on it so try your best not to touch it and the, I mean, you can hold the edges, that's fine. So, okay. Uh oh, don't want to. Okay, that's as much as I'm probably gonna get. So, gonna slide it out gently. Okay, bend that metal thing, metal wrapper down. And now, see that? No finger. No finger icon there. And what's very important about this is there's actually a dark slide. So, so when you, and the edges are fine to touch. 
So there's a dark side. So when you take a picture, the first picture is not going to be a picture. So don't go excited. Woo, this picture is going to be so great. It's going to get so many likes. And then, and then take the picture and it comes out with a dark side. Don't do that, guys. So, see that yellow rectangle in the camera? See the rectangle in the film? You want to line the two up. You want to line the two up. Hold the edges, be very gentle. Line the two rectangles up, drop it in. Fold it in. And voila! Now there's yellow, so that means that there's film in there. So now there's film in there, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. That that's yellow, and the counter reads S, which means there's a slide still. So now well, I'm gonna eject the slide before I take the actual demo picture. So now let's eject the slide. So you don't have to be very careful with this picture; it's just the dark slide. And. It comes off, it will even say right on there, this is not a film. So, we got the dark slide out, now it will say, let me turn it off first, so I don't accidentally take a picture. Uh oh. Huh, let's check it. Okay, mine reads 10 at first. I thought it was broken. I just couldn't see very good because the camera was blurry. So now, I want to talk to you about uh, this dark slide piece. If my tripod will even go in that, in that angle I had it in before. Oh, oh great. Okay, so uh, let's try this again. Okay, no... Something's seriously wrong with this. Uh. Well, at least it will stay, so. So, you have no finger. You can touch here now because there's no film attached. So, yeah, this is just dark slide. Don't know what the strip thing is for. Uh, probably the for the rectangle thingy. So yeah, you can just go ahead and throw that away. That's just the dark slide. So now this is the real demo picture. And before we go, I forgot to cover something. So before we take the picture, I forgot to cover this. So uh, if it will let me... No, that's even worse. So, I don't know what's going on. Let me turn down the ISO. This has to work. So, uh, it's not working, so I gotta maybe zoom out. Just like, let the camera go through its focusing range, okay? Let's try this again. So, you can't see, like, I don't know what's going on with this camera. Uh, not this, not the camera I'm holding, the phone camera. So, uh, this is a house icon. You can't really see, sorry. So that's the house icon. That means indoors, which is what it's recommending now. So, yeah. This means cloudy, like outside. Like, kind of like the weather outside right now. Kind of like... Like what you'd see out there. That's cloudy. Now let me go back out to regular zoom. So this is partial sun. Like the picture with one sun, like a partial sun. That's a partial sun. Like where, where the sun is partially, partially out. This is full sun. So there, there's like no clouds. It's like extremely bright. And the last setting is high key, like if you're taking a night photo or something. 
So that's pretty nice if you want to overexpose your photo or or if it's just a night photo and you know it's going to be underexposed. So now let's go actually take the demo picture and then I'll talk to you about the film. And before, before we take the picture, it's very important. Do not shake the film. Do not shake it like a pol Polaroid. This is not a Polaroid, so don't shake the film. It will just make it grainy and dark and, and unusable. So I'm going to see if my tripod will cooperate with me today. Uh-uh, nope. My, my tripod doesn't cooperate. I think my phone's too heavy. Wow. That is unacceptable. Wait, what is going on? Okay, so uh, this is the best I could get. Let me just shake the table, make sure it's not going to fall. Blow on the phone, make sure it's not going to fall. I'm pretty confident it's not going to fall. So now, uh, I'm just going to, like, so, and yeah, confirmation, it does switch to the cloudy mode when I point it at the window. So, I'm not going to actually take a picture of that. I'm going to take a picture of you guys, so look for the viewfinder, check your film, you should get a habit, 10 film, and yes, there is yellow showing. So now I look for my viewfinder, get it centered. A uh, lot closer. Frame it. Get my hands out. Get your center. Ready? Three, two, one. Now there's actually film. So, we are going to gently move it to the table. Gently because this film is really del delicate when it's developing. And like, so, devel so delicate that I'll have to turn off the, the flash on my phone. That's how delicate the film is. So, expect it to be grainy. Sorry, I just don't want to ruin the film. So, yeah, because film, like, is really expensive, so, like, $30, $40, like, like, so expensive, so, anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this to cooperate. Well, it's tilting to one side, which is not a good sign. Well, maybe if I tighten it, like, just turn it to the right until it locks up turn it to the left slightly my god what is going on this tripod is getting worse and worse every single vid no either i need to use a smaller phone or this tripod is toast ah come on no Oh, great. Looks like I'll have to get an old phone we have laying around and use that. Actually, uh, so I'm going to scrap the old phone idea. Actually, I think I know why. Uh, I need to go to the kitchen, get a screwdriver, and tighten the screws in here. So let me go try to tighten the screws. Okay, so I did tighten the screws. So, why? Unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately, I couldn't uh, tighten the the bottom three screws, so I'll get my mom to help me with that later. But I'm just gonna finish this review. So now uh, I was going to show you the photo. So uh, this is how the photo came out. It developed. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it developing, but it only takes 90 seconds to develop. <coughs> so, uh, not that bad. Yeah, not that bad, actually, so. And what's, and then something related to this is these albums. So, 
you can have a photo here and they can store some photos those are just photos I haven't had a chance to put in yet so let me just put those in right now so yeah and also you have to put a photo in after I just put the photos in real quick Let's see, I'm gonna sort the photos between bad quality and good quality. Oh, those are bad quality. Whoa. Oh, that one's pretty nice. So, yeah. Just putting in the photos. And there is a little bit of background music, so that's fine. Just let me put it in. Don't want to bend the pocket too far or else it will break. Okay. Sorry guys, just sick, so. Uh, here's a couple photos the camera took. As you can see, they're quite nice, not bad. Another lake photo, sunset. Not bad actually, so. Here's some other photos. They were upside down, hold on. A sunset photo. Like, they're not that bad. An overexposed one here. This is what I use high key mode in the daytime, so. <laughs> Low battery, okay, so. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to put a photo in. So, grab the photo I just took. And basically push it into the pocket, like so. Lift up the pocket. I can't really do that. But I only have one hand, so because I because I I don't have the tripod, so I only have two hands: one to move the photo and one to use the phone. So I put the photo in and close the album. So yeah. Pretty nice album, and my camera also came with this case to protect it, a carrying case. So, obviously you can't take pictures with this case, in the case, so you put the camera in by unfolding and sliding in the camera. I'll just do that real quick. Okay, so just slides in. Sometimes it might get caught, but just got it through. Like that. It's sitting there now. And then just close it. It might have trouble. It, if so, open it, push the camera in, make sure it's level. And then do that again. And you have your and you can carry it around. So yeah, that concludes. Whew. Uh I think it's okay. So that concludes. That concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed.